Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's Teen Take and Make at Manlius Library. Today we have two projects, and if you picked up your kit, what you'll have found inside are one um, cardstock mask, a little bag of feathers, one peacock feather, a piece of elastic with um, metal things on the end of them, <laughs> on the end of it, a paintbrush, a couple of sheets of sticky um, gems. These are actually sticky on the back. I'm gonna set those aside. A Q-tip, paintbrush, I think I mentioned that. A canvas wrapped in plastic and a stack of paper doilies. It may look like one paper doily, but there is actually at least a couple. I think most everybody got three, oh, maybe four. Doilies. Okay, we're gonna set the 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 doily and canvas aside and the paintbrush aside for now. We also will have received a small white paper bag, which has in it some glitter, some paint, there's the glitter. Some paint and uh, the, the white, the small white container is actually glue. Okay, so we'll set those aside a little bit. You will also need for this project a cup of water for rinsing your paint brushes, a damp cloth also for your paint brushes. You might want a pair of scissors if you want to cut your uh, feathers. And I find it very easy to, or handy, to have a small container of some sort for when we're working with glitter. So that when you sprinkle the glitter on, you can dump it off into a container and then you can really easily just pour it back into the little cup. Okay? So we'll set that aside for now. The first thing we're going to do is decorate our face mask. This is a Mardi Gras face mask. It only covers the, the upper part of your face, so it's not a face mask for protection. And you can decorate this however you want. You can use the paints, you can use the glitter, you could use markers if you have them, or crayons, um, the feathers. I'm gonna actually start with the glitter, which should surprise no one. You can use your Q-tip and put your glitter on or put your glue on. So let's do that. Okay. However you want. This is this is one of those projects that you don't really probably even need a video. You could just do this using your own imagination. But I like doing the crafts too, so you get a video. All the way around. I'm working fairly quickly because you don't want to let the glue dry before you get the glitter on. You'll notice I have my workspace covered with newspaper because I don't want to get glue or glitter or paint or anything else on my dining room table. Okay, so we've got that. I think I'll start with purple. So Let's see if we can maybe do it this way. Just adding glitter all the way around. Tap it off. Oh, I 
glitter. If you have other things in your house that you'd like to use to decorate your mask, you are absolutely more than welcome to do so. So now we've got our glitter all in here. What we do is tap that and we put that in there. And then we go back and add more to spots that may not have had enough. All right. This is a messy craft, obviously. I didn't get all the glitter in there, some spilled, but this is why we put newspaper down. Now I'm gonna take and put more glue. If you're filling in a big a big section with glue, you can just pour it right on. And then use your Q-tip to spread it around. All right, so we've got that. So let's see if we can't make more of a mess. tapping to make sure that the glitter is sticking to the glue. Okay. Now very carefully. And you can see where you need to fill in with more glitter. I'll set that aside. And I think for the very last little bit, I will fill in these spots that didn't get any. If you have a glue stick that is one of the colored kind, the sometimes they're pink or purple, so you can see where the glue goes, this might be a little easier but I like the kind of randomness that you get with the white glue. And there's going to be some randomness. Okay, I'm just drying that to there. This Q-tip has just about had it. You want to be careful not to close up the holes on the side. That's where the, the little metal thing, the little metal part of the, the elastic is going to go so that you can actually wear it as a mask if you want to. Also makes a very nice decoration. So we'll take our last bit of silver, bring our container back over here. If you want to just do this on the newspaper and then just throw the newspaper with the glitter away, you of course can do that. Shake 
and oh there we go that's pretty all right okay so i've set my mask aside to dry because that's a lot of glue and we want to let that dry at least most of the way before we move on to sticking stickers or, or gems and feathers and such to it so i set that aside to let it dry we're going to move on to the painting project i've opened my canvas i've got my paints i've got my my cup of water and my doilies i've separated my doilies so if you feel your doily one side is kind of is smooth very carefully is smooth and the other side is kind of rough you don't want to use the rough side you want to paint on the smooth side and what you're going to do let's set that aside see where I've made a mess here okay what you're going to do is open up one of your paints and take your brush and make sure it's fairly dry and we're going to paint on the doily. We're just going to paint on a little part of it. And then we'll do that. We're going to lay that down on very carefully, lay it down on your canvas and without letting it move. Just kind of pat it in place or even do that. This is a messy project. And then carefully peel it off. You'll have a design of sorts. It does take practice, as you can see. So let's give that another shot. Let's move over here and do this. And set that down. And press it. And then lift it up. And it'll leave a pattern. And you're going to do this over the whole, the whole canvas. So I'm going to move my canvas back here in front of me. And I'm going to do some color mixing. We'll do some yellow. This is a good technique if you want to make your own gift wrap. You could do this on um, butcher paper or just white copy paper. Got a little blue, add some blue in there. I'm going to actually take this piece of paper and do that. There we go. Okay. Okay. Also, we'll add some purple. And some yellow. We're just going to blend that right in together. Add a little blue. I'm working fairly quickly. You don't want to let the paint dry on the doily because then it won't transfer over to your canvas. Okay, so we'll set that down right in the middle. That worked really well, so I'm going to take that piece of paper and put that down and just kind of 
press it down really well. And lift it up, and there you have a pattern. Nice, and you can just keep going. If you want to pick, use a different doily, if you want to use different colors, if you have other paints that you want to use, or, whoop, yeah, I just mixed my yellow and my blue together without rinsing my brush, so. Let's try to get that out. You don't want to leave big globs of paint on the doily because they will just smear into bulb blobs. That's what happened here when I first started. I had too much paint. So you want to make sure it's a fairly smooth, thin layer of paint. Okay. And take that and lay that down there. Use our piece of paper. You can use any piece of paper to do this. If you use your hand, it will drag the paint across and kind of smear it. So it's better if you're going to rub it like this to use a piece of paper. And there you have a design. As I said, it does take practice. We're actually leaving a fairly pretty design on our newspaper as well. Okay. So now we'll just do a little bit more and then maybe our mask will be dry. Let's move the paints out of the way and lay that up there and press down. Go back over all of it. Okay. And then peel that off and oh, very pretty. So you can keep going for as long as you like. And then if you have a spot on it that you want to touch up with the brush, you can do that. If you have, like I said, if you have other things that are textured, you could use that to make a print on your um, canvas. All right. I'm going to clean up the paints and grab the mask and we will continue with the decorating of the Mardi Gras mask. I'll be right back. Okay. So we've got our mask and all the embellishments. If you want to, you can also use your paints on your mask. I clearly didn't leave any space to do that. So, um, final touches. I've got some glue here. My other glue was completely full of um, glitter, so we're just gonna put a little bit of glue out on the table. No, on the paper, not on the table. So that I can do this. And I think what I'm going to do is cut the peacock feather a little bit. And I'm going to dip it in the glue. And I'm going to put it right through and stick it there. Okay. Oh, slide this down, hold that right there. As I said, your imagination is your only limit. Okay. 
Okay, and you want to hold that down a little bit until it dries. And then take, you could use your other feathers and put around. I'm going to actually take this one. They're sticky on the back. You can always put a little more glue on if you don't think it's going to stick enough. I'm going to hold that right. right where the peacock feather meets the mask. And that's in the glue, so that will, and glue, remember the glue will dry clear. I'm gonna put that there. And I'm also gonna take a teardrop and put it right there where I missed the glitter. Okay, so do I have any other spots? I don't really, but you can use these. You could put them all around, however you want to decorate it. All right, so as you can see, for final touches, I added a feather and some gems to my mask. And then if you want to set it up to wear, you take your elastic and you just poke the metal parts up through the front of the mask, up through the hole on either side and then you've got your elastic so you can wear your mask. And there's that. And then I took my painting and I looked at it and I thought, hmm, that looks like spring. So I used a brush and I just kind of highlighted to make it sort of look like flowers, okay? As I said, these crafts are really up to your imagination. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Lori and I'm the teen librarian at Manlius Library. You can find me here every other Thursday on the Manlius Library YouTube channel for a new craft and art project. Have a great week. I'll see you next time and happy crafting.